Hello everyone, how are we doing today? So today we're gonna to be going over the two little people model, muscle models that we have in the laboratory. And we're gonna be looking at the muscles of the chest and the back and the glutes. Um, and a tiny little bit of the shoulder, so the rotator cuff muscles as well. So these are the, the videos I took of the models in the laboratory. So there's this one right here where the guy's going like this, and then there's another one that we're gonna look at the back side where he's reaching up. So these are the two main models here, and these are the ones we're gonna focus on and name some of the muscles. And then since most of these are superficial, I am then gonna open up uh, 3D Organon Anatomy, and we're gonna look at some muscles there as well. Let's pause it right here, and then let's label some important parts. Uh, so the first one right here, obvious one, the shoulder muscle. Uh, let's increase this thickness a little bit. Uh, there we go, shoulder muscle. Uh, then. We have the pectoralis major. Shoulder muscle is the deltoid, of course, and the pectoralis major right here. And when we open up 3D Organon, I'll show you where the pectoralis minor is. Uh, and then right here, we have its connective tissue going down the middle of the abdominal region called the linea alba. So we'll label that. And right here, we can only see two of the abdominal muscles. We have the rectus abdominis here and then the external obliques here. So that's all we can label on this one. So let's go ahead and write in the labels. Uh, so... Right here we have pectoralis major. Again, pectoralis minor is deeper. And then right here we have the deltoid. Remember the deltoid is a multi-pennant muscle. So multiple feather-like pieces coming down through here. Fascicle arrangements. Uh, this connective tissue is not a muscle. This is just a linea alba. Now, here we have oblique direction. So these are the external obliques. And then these ones are running straight up and down. So that's rectus abdominis. So these, the abdominal muscles are named via their fiber direction. So we have the external obliques, then we have the internal obliques which run the other direction, and then we have the transverse abdominus, which runs this direction. I'll show those when I show 3D organon. So that's this first side here. So this is chest and abdominal region and the deltoid on the shoulder. Next, I wanna go to the back. Uh, so going back here, let's move forward to the next model right here. Yeah, right there is good to name most of what we need to name here. So. What all do we have here? First we have, I know I labeled this last video, but I just wanna show where it is on this model. So we have the trapezius. Then we have the big muscle right back here. This is the latissimus dorsi. And then down here, we can also label the gluteus medius and the gluteus maximus on this model. I'll show you where the gluteus minimus is when I show the next model. And then we'll probably talk about it again when I show the leg video as well. Now there are a couple of little muscles in here I wanna label on this one because it shows them pretty well. These are the muscles of the rotator cuff. Uh, now there is one we can't see in there, which is the subscapularis, but we can see the infraspinatus, which is right here. There's also a supraspinatus, which we can't see that one, which is above it. So subscapularis and supraspinatus, we can't see here, but I will show that in 3D organon. So right there, uh, infraspinatus. Then below that, this little one right here, this is the teres minor. And then this one right below that is the teres major. I'll highlight those over here as well where they are on the arm reaching up. But first one here, let's label this one. This one is the uh, trapezius. And then the, not your lats, these is the latissimus dorsi. Then down here, gluteus medius. And then everyone's favorite, the gluteus maximus. So there's a maximus, a medius, and a minimus deep down inside. So then uh, over here for arms, uh, muscles of the shoulder, this one again, so you'd have the spine of the scapula right in here. So you'd have the uh, supraspinatus above that, can't see that one in here, but this one is the infraspinatus. Then this is the teres minor. And then this one is the teres major. 
So right here would be the Terra's major over there. Right here would be the Terra's minor. You can see how the Terra's minor is part of the rotator cuff then. And right here is then the infra spinatus. So important thing here, the, these two right here are part of the rotator cuff, which are your sits muscles. And I'll highlight the uh, subscapularis and the um, supra spinatus in 3D organin. But right now, this is the one that I want you, if you're looking at this, take a screenshot of this. These are the important ones for the back side of this model. But right now, so I'm going to clear this, and now we're going to move to 3D organin so I can show these a little better now. So here at chest, we have pectoralis major, deltoid, of course, for the shoulder. Um, also on the neck, what I didn't mention last video because it wasn't on the models was the platysma. It's usually removed from the model so we can see the deeper neck muscles. Uh, but here, if we remove the pectoralis major, right here is the pectoralis minor. Another one I want to mention here, we have these serrated looking muscles over here. This is the serratus anterior. There's also a serratus posterior. And then these are the external and the internal intercostal muscles, which are in important for respiration. Down here then are the external obliques. You can see them running obliquely right here. So we hide that, go down to the next layer. Now we have the internal obliques. Next layer down, we now have the rectus abdominis, as we get your notorious six pack. And then right here then, uh, the deepest ones are the transversus abdominis. So you hide that and they're all gone. And now we're on the back side here. Uh, so remember the big strap not strap like the big muscle on your back here is your trapezius muscle and you can see how complex it gets underneath the trapezius we talked about the ones in the neck last chapter uh or last video including the rhomboid major and rhomboid rhomboid major and rhomboid minor and then right here is that supraspinatus i wanted to mention so the uh, muscles of the rotator cuff let me hide the deltoid here so there's the supraspinatus there's the infraspinatus and there's the teres minor now, the only one we're not seeing yet is deep in there, and that's a subscapularis. So you can see where that um, inserts onto the humerus, and all these insert onto the humerus, and this is why they're all considered part of the rotator cuff right there. Uh, and then down here is the teres minor. So teres means round. So these are both round-like muscles. It's kind of where they get their name. So then, so that scapula, all those spaces we learned on the scapula when we talked about the skeletal system are filled in with these muscles, and some of them are major muscles of the rotator cuff so then right here then we have the latissimus dorsi and then right down here are the serratus posterior muscles as well now what we didn't show on those models that they weren't there in the models because they didn't represent the deep muscles we have the erector spinae muscles of the back uh, so here's the spinalis thoracis here's the longissimus and the iliacostalis all those make up the erector spinae as you move down the back um, and then down here at the lower, lower back, we have the multifidus muscle, and then right here is the quadratus lumborum. So all of this provides strength in this area. And then if we go towards the a little bit more on the anterior side here, we have the psoas minor and the psoas major. Um, all important muscles for support of this region because we have to have these strap-like muscles in here for supporting this region because it's only the lumbar vertebrae or the skeletal system in that region. Um, so it's all connected in the different fiber directions of the obliques help out tremendously in this region as well. I think I got all the important ones. There are smaller ones in between the little, um, between the transverse and uh, transverse processes here on the vertebrae, but we won't go into that deep of details on this, including all these little ones right here. So we're not going to go that deep, deep details. Just know there are more deep muscles in here that we're not focused on in this video. Uh, but that doesn't mean we won't learn those someday in the future. But if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. This is all I have for now. Um, yeah, hope you all have a great day and bye-bye.